Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today we're going to make a favorite around here, only we're going to do it low sugar. Some of you may know about uh, the recipe that I put up a few years ago for Festival Pepper Jam. It is a party in a jar. It is just so good. We love it. Rave reviews on it. Everybody just thinks it's fantastic. And so this time we're going to do a low sugar, not no sugar, but a low sugar festival pepper jam. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. I will have a bunch of links down below for you uh, for all the stuff that you need for this. We are going to be using Pomona's pectin. And that is a low sugar pectin. Absolutely love it. Always sets up like a dream. It's absolutely fantastic. And we are going to be using, of course, our four jars canning lids because they are the best lids on the market today. I think that you guys are going to enjoy this. It is just as good as the full sugar it's just less sugar. Okay, so we're going to be using uh, one and a third cups of peppers. Now, one cup of it is bell, you know, sweet bell peppers, and a third of a cup is jalapeno peppers. Um, I've removed all the seeds from there, but the flavor is going to be amazing. Two cups total of sugar, but you're going to divide it. Uh, one and a half cups over to the side, and then a half a cup in here, uh, and mix your Pomona's pectin with it. The Pomona's pectin is going to be one and a half teaspoons that goes in here. And so you just take that and you just mix it all up and you'll see what happens. It makes it so much easier to incorporate in. We're going to have our calcium water. Now don't get freaked out about the calcium water, my friends. The calcium comes with the pectin and you make up the water and you put it in your fridge, any that's left over, and it's good in there as long as it's in there, okay? And so you just give it a good shake before you put it in the pot. Also... This is going to have one and one third cups of vinegar, and it's your standard 5% vinegar. Make sure that it's 5%. Look on your label, okay, because that's really important to have the 5% vinegar. And that, my friends, is all she wrote. Let's make some festival pepper jam. Yay! On our stovetop here, on our burner, uh, we've got a pot. It makes five pints, I think, five pints. So we're going to add all of our peppers into the pot, yay! And we're going to add our vinegar, and we're gonna let that heat up for about five minutes, give it a good stir, you know, make sure nothing's sticking, everything's good, so, so good. This is gonna be so easy. Also, right now, what we're gonna do is we're going to add the calcium water to it, too. And that is two, sorry, two teaspoons of calcium water. So you're gonna give that jar a shake, and you're just gonna measure out two teaspoons of calcium water. And this is what activates the pectin to do its thing, you know what I mean? Okay, so the heat is up there now on this, so I'm gonna turn down the heat just a little bit, and I'm gonna put my lid over it, and we're gonna let it simmer for five minutes. You're gonna to wanna to dice up those peppers, you know, as small as you would like. Um, you can use your Vidalia chopper. They've got the fine chopper in there that works great, or you can do it by hand, whatever works best for you. Um, and just chop them up kind of fine, okay? And this initial cooking period was to soften up the peppers, really. That's in my opinion. Anyway, so now we are going to, oop, a couple of seeds got in there. Ooh, that'll be a surprise for somebody. Okay, so now we're gonna take that half a cup of sugar with the pectin mixed into it, and we're going to add that in here and we're gonna give it a good stir, make sure it gets really incorporated, okay? And we're gonna stir that for about two minutes, just making sure that it gets to where it's going because that's important. And this is a sweet, you know, the vinegar, you won't even notice the vinegar. So if you have an aversion to vinegar, this, this is not noticeable, okay? It's just what makes it safe. But this, <clears throat> this, this, <laughs> this is so good. This is great for gifts, you know, around the holidays. This is good for, oh, just so many things. Cream cheese on crackers, of course, you know, with this. And just anything you can think of. It's also great to braise your pork or something, your beef in, you know, when you're roasting it. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, saute some shrimp with a little bit of this jam in there. Okay, I'm getting hungry. Not a good thing. Okay. So we're just going to keep doing this for a couple of minutes and then we will add in the rest of the sugar and we'll stir that down and bring it back up to a full boil.
here we have it it's all incorporated it's been a couple of minutes now and we're going to add in the rest of the sugar that's a cup and a half of sugar so my other festival pepper jam um, I'll put a link I'll put a link for that you'll be able to check that out too um, that has I think five cups of sugar in it so this only has two cups so it is lower sugar okay um, but it is not no sugar there's there's nothing home canning that I'm aware of that you can make other than boiling it all down until, you know, it actually for a pepper jam, I don't know of a way to make a no sugar pepper jam, even just for the refrigerator. You still need some kind of sugar in there. But this, oh, it's going to be so good. Okay. And the other reason also for that initial five minutes is to cook down and it helps release any air that might be in the peppers so that you have less of a floating issue when you put them into the jars because it will float it's just kind of a given there we go okay we're going to bring this back up to a boil and once it gets to that full rolling boil that you can't stir down we're going to take it off the heat in the back i have my steam canner heating up with my jars in it so those will be ready to fill as soon as this hits that rolling boil. Here we have that rolling boil. See how it continues to boil? Okay, so now we are going to take this off the heat and we're gonna start jarring it up. Okay, we're gonna start putting this in. Um, one of the really awesome things about Pomona's is that you can double and triple recipes with no issues, okay? Yep, they're still gonna float. And you want to go to um, a quarter inch headspace in your jars. Now, these are gonna set up pretty quick because it's Pomona's. You can just stir it up when the time comes. Okay, and it will be just fantabulous. There we go. But apparently, I've got some floaters. It doesn't make it less good. Okay, what do we have here? So I got just over three, not quite four. So this will just go in the fridge. It'll be good for something. Um, but all of these, I got three. -hoo -hoo. Isn't it so pretty? It's so pretty. I'm going to try a little experiment here. I don't debubble jams. There's no need to debubble jams. Okay. But nope, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. They're still floating. So. Maybe I needed to cook it down just a couple minutes longer. But I could sit here for a few minutes because this, this gels up so fast. I could sit here for a couple minutes and keep doing this until they stop floating quite as hard. There we go. Okay, floating happens. It happens. So now we are going to wipe off the rims because we've got that sugary substance all over. So you want to make sure that you're cleaning those off and getting everything ready for the lid. Because we're going to be using four jars canning lids. Yes, we are. These are the most fantastical lids. And there's a link down below if you are interested in ordering them. Look at those. Just, oh, do you see, do you see the button? Okay, if you're interested in ordering them, you can get 10% off by using the coupon code down below. Cannot recommend, recommend these highly enough. Okay, and now we are going to get the rings and put them in the can. Okay, remember you're going to put your rings on finger tight and watch out these jars are hot, my friends. Okay, they're super hot. So finger tight. We've got the steam canner going in the background. And remember, ugly rings are not an issue. No, they are not. These are not an issue, okay? 
They are not an engagement ring. They are a tool, my friends. They are there to hold your lids on during the canning process. We have them in the steam canner. We're now going to put our top on and then we're going to... For my area, it's in the dark green and once we get to that dark green, I can it for 10 minutes. I love the steam canner because it uses so much less water than your conventional water bath canner. Um, I don't think I've ever shown the hole in the back that lets the steam out. So while that's building up its pressure, getting us to where we need to be, remember for your elevation, okay, if you are above, if you are at or above a thousand feet, then you need to go up a minute for every thousand feet. So if you're a thousand and one, then you go for 11 minutes. If you're at 2000, you go for 12 minutes. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. The canner did its whole time. Okay. And then I turned off the heat and I let it sit there for, I'm going to say about five minutes. And now we can pull these out and you're going to see it floated. It floated. So me debubbling or whatever did nothing, but the floating is not an issue. When you open the jar, you just stir it up and it gets all dispersed where it's supposed to be and it's really, really good. So here is our ha, festival pepper jam. It's a party in a jar and it just tastes so amazing using it for, I mean, I wouldn't put it with peanut butter, but you could, I guess, if you wanted to, <laughs> okay? So our festival pepper jam with our four jars canning lids. I'll have links down below for the old recipe with full sugar. I'll have links down below for the four jars canning lids and for the steam canner. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Until next time, be safe.